Hi everyone, it's Sandy and today I'm back with another weekly bookish vlog and as you can see from my background, I have finally finished rearranging my room and my bookshelves are now complete. So over the weekend, I wasn't vlogging, but I was filming me moving all of my books, moving my bookshelves, and then putting all my books back on. So I'm going to insert clips from that and I hope you enjoy. putting all the books that were on the floor back on the shelf. I do have a lot of shelf space. Right now I'm going to take off all the books from this shelf so that I can eventually move these shelves to this wall. So my bookshelves are now completed. There is this weird empty spot right here, but I'm just going to leave it because if I push the shelf further in, then it's just going to block this whole thing. So I'm just going to leave it like that because this is going to be my filming bookshelves anyways. My bed is finally moved, but I just had a brilliant idea to do this to my bookshelves. So as you can see with this one, I'm starting to tilt it out so that it just looks nicer and that there's not that empty blank space in between these two bookshelves. Can we just take a moment to appreciate this because I'm loving how it's turning out. I think it really like transformed this area and I'm really happy with how it looks right now. Time for the big reveal. This is how my bookshelves currently look and I'm so happy with it. I think it looks beautiful in its entirety. That's pretty much it. After a month I am finally done rearranging my room. This is what my bookshelf currently looks like and I'm so happy with it. This was quite a long process because I kept procrastinating everything. I'm really excited to start filming in front of these bookshelves because my window is directly in front of me instead of like like having half of my face lit so it was hard to play around with lighting in my videos but now that my windows are directly in front of me lighting should be a lot better and I'm really excited about that. Today is Monday June 11th. I work from 10 to 5 p.m. today and right now it's about 8 26 so I'm about to leave my house in like 40 minutes. Since I made a really quick and light breakfast I have a lot of time to chill. On my way to work I plan on picking up Till Death by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I don't have a physical copy of the book I just checked it out from my library so I'm going to be reading it on my Kindle. All I know is that it's a mystery thriller book. I just want to read something that's really fast and entertaining and typically that is what Jennifer L. Armentrout's books are so I'm excited to pick this book up and hopefully I enjoy it. It is now about 6 35 p.m. I'm currently 
currently working on editing my book expo slash book con vlog. It's not really a vlog, it's more of a montage video. Pretty much everyone I know has already posted their vlogs, posted their hauls, and here I am just beginning to edit my vlog and I still haven't even filmed my book expo and book con haul yet, which I plan to do sometime this weekend. It's about 8.40 p.m. right now and I'm currently on chapter 6 of Till Death. That's about 16% through the book. I am enjoying it so far. What I know about this book so far is that it follows this girl named Sasha. When she was 19 years old, she was kidnapped. She did escape the kidnapping, but she ended up going to college far away from the town that she was born in. And now the story is taking place 10 years later as she's coming back home and dealing with everything that's going on at home. That's pretty much all I know about the book so far, so I'm going to continue reading for a bit until I go to bed. So it's about 5.18 p.m. I got home from work about 30 minutes ago, but after I got off work, I went to H&M so that I can buy some business casual clothes because I have an internship next semester and the dress code is business casual and I don't have a lot of business casual clothes, so I decided to start doing some shopping for that. The lighting in this corner of my room sucks, but this is basically the outfit that I bought. Ignore the background for now, I know it's a mess. I bought three pairs of shoes and I just tried them on. This is a shirt that I got from H&M. It's about $10. It has this floral pattern print on it. I think it's really cute. And then I bought these dress pants. They're perfect on my waist, but then they're like really baggy on like my butt area and on my thighs. So I don't know. I think I'm going to go try to return it and try on a smaller size and see if that fits better. So back to the shoes. I basically bought three different pairs of shoes on Payless, mainly because the store was having an online sale where everything was 35% off and the shoes at Payless are already pretty inexpensive. The total for three different pairs of shoes, including tax, was about $40, so I think that was a really great deal because usually one pair of shoes is like $40, even more than $40. I think I got a really good deal because I don't really own any business casual shoes. The first pair of shoes that I got are these loafers, and I think they're definitely pretty business casual, and I think it goes really well with this outfit. The original price for these loafers were $35, but I got them for $12. The second pair of shoes that I got are flats, but unfortunately, they are a little bit too loose. I think they're like really plain and simple and good for pretty much anything So I'm going to be returning these but they were originally $25 and I also got them for about $12 And then the last pair of shoes that I got are these ones I don't know. I can't decide if these shoes are cute or if they're ugly. The tag is so long, but should I return them or should I keep them? Please let me know because I can't decide. I'm not really a shoe person, but I just wanted to have a different pairs of business casual shoes so i bought this one on a whim and i can't decide if i should keep them so right now i'm going to take off these clothes and i'm going to shower and begin editing it's about 7 50 p.m now and i'm going to finally continue reading till death by jennifer l armitrout i'm actually currently 64 percent through the book i'm not loving it i thought i was enjoying it for the first 20 percent but then the love interest got introduced and I just don't like the romance at all and half of the book does have to do with romance. I don't know, I usually really like Jennifer L. Armitrout's romance. I know that some of the romance that Jennifer L. Armitrout writes could be problematic and I am aware of that. I felt like the love interest is just very assertive. I understand that these two characters did used to date prior to the main character being kidnapped. It is now 10 years later, so that's a lot of time. But the love interest, Cole, begins calling Sasha babe. She immediately tells him not to call her babe, and then the next page, he calls her babe again, and he continues to call her babe. And things between the two of them are starting to pick up really quickly, and I don't know how I feel about the pacing of it. So right now, I am really interested in the mystery. I just don't care about the romance at all. So Cole just referred to Sasha as my woman. Excuse me? Instead of saying my woman like she's your property, you could say something like my girlfriend, my partner. I hate this so much. I'm currently at 91% through the book. I have about 13 minutes left and the killer was revealed and I kind of knew it. I had a feeling that this person was the killer. I'm kind of surprised but I'm also not at the same time. It's about 10 11 p.m. right now and I just finished Till Death. I'm still processing everything that happened but I think I'm going to end up giving this book a 3 out of 5 stars. I do have work tomorrow so I'm going to try to pick a book to start next before I go to bed because I don't want to waste time in the morning trying to decide that. So I discovered the Libby app which is basically an updated version of Overdrive and I saw Warstorm was available to borrow so I think I'm going to read that because it is the last book 
in Red Queen, so I'm going to borrow that. I'm also borrowing the audiobook of From Twinkle with Love by Sandia Manan. I have been meaning to find a new audiobook to listen to, and I was surprised that this was available, so I immediately checked it out. So I'm hoping to start this book tomorrow as well. So it's now Wednesday, and it's almost 7 p.m. I got home from work about 4 30 and i actually did stop by h&m again i returned the pants and i exchanged them for a smaller size i also ended up buying this shirt i bought two shirts actually this is just like a striped white t-shirt but i think it looks good with the dress pants so i exchanged the dress pants for a smaller size and i'm also wearing these shoes again because i really can't decide if i like them i did end up returning the black flats after i left h&m but i'm still keeping these shoes for now so please let me know if i should keep them or if i should return them these dress pants definitely fit better than the ones that i got yesterday it is a little bit tight on the waist i also ended up buying another shirt and it's another floral print shirt i think this will also go well with the dress pants but it was like two for ten dollars so that's why i bought these two shirts i wasn't planning on buying anything but you know the sale got me so to give an update about my reading i did start war storm earlier today i made it about 10 percent into the book and i'm feeling okay about the book i'm not completely in love with it which i wasn't expecting because i thought the previous two books were all right i'm one of the few people who really enjoyed red queen but i think the second and third book just weren't as great and i feel like the main reason that contributes to me not liking the second and third book as much is because i completely like forgot everything Thing that happened in the previous books and I just jumped right in which is why I didn't want to start Reaper at the Gates right away. After reading Warstorm I think I'm going to pick up An Ember in the Ashes but one thing I don't like about Warstorm right now is that a character point of view was introduced for a character that I really don't care about. I just don't want to read from this character's point of view but I have to. So right now I'm going to change out of these clothes, get back into my PJs and maybe catch up on a few booktube videos before I get back into reading. We're leaving for BookCon. We're all wearing denim jackets. It's really cute. This exhibit one, two, three. Wait. Did I get caught? Yes, you did. So I'm watching my friend Trin's BookCon vlog and I'm just reliving everything that we did during the week of BookCon. It was so much fun meeting Trin and Kyla and rooming with them throughout BookCon. I had a really great time. I didn't really do any vlogging. I did gather a bunch of random clips throughout the week and I tried to put them all together in this montage video and I am pretty much done editing it but I'm just not happy with how it turned out so I don't think I'm going to upload it but if you're curious to see the things that I did during BookCon then definitely check out Trin and Kyla's BookCon vlogs. I will leave the link to both of their channels and their BookCon vlog videos in the description box below. They're really great people. I love both of them and I wanted to give them a quick shout out and I just really enjoyed watching both of their vlogs because I miss them so much and since I didn't do any vlogging it was really great reliving all the experiences that we had. I'm going to finish watching this video and then I'm going to continue reading Warstorm. I'm now 21% into Warstorm and I think I'm going to stop here and go to bed really soon. I really don't have anything new to add with my thoughts. Hopefully things start to pick up soon because right now I feel like not a lot is happening. All right, let's see what time is it? It's 7 30 p.m. It is Thursday. Let me see where I am at with Warstorm. I was reading on my Kindle, but I don't have my Kindle with me right now, so I'm just going to check on my phone. The Kindle app isn't updating where I'm at, but I'm too lazy to go get my actual Kindles. I know that I was at least 30% through the book. There has definitely been some action that picked up, but I still don't like the point of view that was added to this book. Her name is Iris. She was introduced in the third book, but I find her character to be so boring, and I just don't care about her. Every time her chapters show up, I want to skip them so bad, but I just can't bring myself to do that. So anyways, I did make some progress in From Twinkle with Love. I did start the audiobook for it yesterday and I'm on chapter 6 so far, which let's see how far I am in the book, in the physical book. Right now I'm about 70 pages into From Twinkle with Love by Sandia Menon. I do like the story, but there are a few things in here that I really don't like. First thing is the romance. I feel like there is some sort of love square going on because Twinkle has a crush on this guy named Neil. But Neil has this twin brother named Sahil who has a crush on Twinkle. But then there's also another character named Bridge who potentially likes Twinkle as well. But Twinkle is completely oblivious to these two crushes. Twinkle thinks Bridge likes her best friend Maddie 
but I feel like it's so obvious that Bridge has feelings for Twinkle and it's also so obvious that Sahil has feelings for Twinkle as well. I just don't like this whole complicated romantic situation going on. I really like Sahil's character. I want him and Twinkle to be together and I just don't care about the other potential love interest. And another thing I don't like about this book is Maddie who is Twinkle's best friend. Basically she and Twinkle used to be best friends but then Maddie ended up joining this popular crowd and she's still friends with Twinkle but in school when she's with her other group of friends she acts as if Twinkle doesn't exist and then when she's by herself she and Twinkle are suddenly BFFs again and I just hate it so much Maddie is just a terrible friend and Twinkle is letting Maddie treat her like shit basically it really sucks reading about it but overall I do like the story and I really like that it's told through letters written to Twinkle's favorite female directors it's almost 11 30 p.m. and I made it through 35% into war storm I'm going to go to bed soon tomorrow is actually a day off so I don't have to go to work. It is the next day. It's Friday and it's about 9 a.m. I woke up at 8, had some breakfast, and now I'm going to get ready to film a video because I am now filming my book expo and book con book haul. It's about 11 15 a.m. I pretty much just finished filming and I only filmed one video and that's pretty much the only video I'm going to film today. Filming this book haul took like an hour and a half. I mess up a lot when I speak and I didn't know what a lot of the books that I got were about or I had some sort of vague idea but I wanted to give a proper synopsis when explaining what the books were about so that took some time reading through the synopsis and trying to form a brief summary. My room is pretty much a mess now. So this is pretty much the situation. All of the books that I got are right here I opened some tote bag packages and there's just like plastic thingies around and lots of swag as well so I just imported all the footage into my computer I'm gonna try to get started editing a little bit I'm definitely not going to finish editing today later today I'm going to meet with a friend because we're going to the movies and we're gonna see Incredibles 2 super excited honestly I don't really remember a lot of what happened in the first movie because I haven't seen it in probably like a decade. Wow, I kind of feel old saying that. That's pretty much an update for now. When I see my friend, I'll try to vlog with her. It's about 6.30. I just got out of the movie. I'm with my friend, Hi guys. Vivian. We watched Incredibles 2 and what did you think of it? The movie was great. Yeah, I really loved it. It was really funny and now I really want to rewatch the first one. The movie theater that we went to had reclined seats, which was amazing because it was really comfy watching the movie. I have lived in Chicago my entire life and not once have I been in this area. This is at the south end of Grant Park and this whole area is called the Agora, which has 106 headless and armless sculptures. Hi everyone, so it's now 10.30 p.m. I got home from hanging out with my friend about an hour ago. I didn't do any reading for War Storm, but I did get through a good chunk of my audiobook of From Twinkle with Love. I have about four and a half hours left of the audiobook, which is pretty much like halfway through. And to be honest, I'm not liking it very much. I really don't like the way the romance is being handled throughout the book and how Twinkle is dealing with it. That's pretty much the main reason why I don't like it very much. I'm not going to read War Storm tonight. I do have work tomorrow, so I'm gonna go to bed. Hi everyone, it is now the next day. It's Saturday, it's almost 9 a.m. and I'm about to head out to work soon. But before I head out to work, I'm going to finally start replying to some comments on my latest video. It's about 5.30 p.m. I just got back from work and I have a package that I'm going to open. There are no books in here, but I did buy some things that are related to booktube, sort of, not really. Alright, the first thing that I got is this thing and it's a tripod and I bought this for my vlogging camera so I've been vlogging without a tripod and sometimes I just want to set my camera down and not hold it but I don't have a tripod so trying to set it down in certain places is just very difficult so I bought this from Amazon it was like $10 and then the last thing that I got is this thing and it's basically 
two battery packs for my DSLR camera. When I film, I try to film at least two videos, but since I always mess up when I'm filming, I always have to repeat the things that I'm saying and that takes up a lot of time. By the time that I film my second video, my battery starts dying and so I have to rush through filming my second video or I have to take a break from filming so that I can recharge my battery pack. So I bought two from Amazon so I don't have to worry about that. Hopefully these battery packs work because they're not like associated with Canon. I pretty much bought like a generic battery pack. So hopefully these work well. That's pretty much it for the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed that little snippet. My dad's vacuuming upstairs right now so sorry if you can hear that. But I'm going to take a shower right now and then I'm going to get back into editing because I need to post a video tomorrow and I haven't finished editing this video yet and I still have probably like an hour of footage. So I'm going to go take a shower now. I'm going to continue listening to From Twinkle With Love in the shower. about three and a half hours left of from twinkle with love i know i've already said it in this video but i just don't like this book very much i know i've talked a lot of negative things about this book but what i do like about it is that i do really like sahil and twinkle i really like their scenes together i think they have really great chemistry and i just want them to be together i do like all the filming scenes so seeing twinkle in her role as a director i really like that i just feel like this secret admirer plot is just very unnecessary to talk a little bit about war storm i read nothing yesterday i have read nothing again so far today so i'm going to try to do a little bit of reading before i go to bed for war storm it is now sunday which is the last day for this weekly vlog. It's about 11 a.m. I have finished editing my book expo and book con haul so I'm currently uploading it to YouTube right now. I'm going to get started and begin editing this weekly vlog that you're currently watching because vlogs do take a lot longer to edit just because there are so many clips that I have to watch through. It's 2 42 p.m. I feel like I've been editing all day. About a month ago I bought this wall art of basically the world map. I bought it from Michaels and it was 70% off and I really love how it looks. My dad is the sweetest and he helped put it up for me on my wall. This is what it looks like. I think it looks really nice. So I'm now going to continue reading War Storm. This is a pretty big book. I just checked on Goodreads and it's 662 pages. I just really want to be done with this book so I can start something different because I feel like I've been reading it forever even though I only started this book on Wednesday. So it hasn't been that long and plus I haven't read this book in like two days. I did read a little bit last night but I read like three percent and then I got tired and then well, that was my brother directly upstairs for me, probably raging about one of his video games that he's playing. Right now, I'm 38% into the book, and I really want to be at least 60 or 70% through. So it's currently 10.30 p.m., and I'm going to end the vlog here, but before I do that, I wanted to quickly wrap up what I read throughout this week. I'll basically talk more of my thoughts in my June wrap-up. But the first book that I finished is Till Death by Jennifer L. Armitrout, which I gave a 3 out of 5 stars. That's pretty much the only book that I finished, but I made it through 75% into War Storm by Victoria Aveyard, which is about 463 pages. I'm not loving this book, but I don't hate it as well. I think it's probably going to end up being another 3 out of 5 star read. And then the last book is From Twinkle with Love by Sandy Menon. I am almost done with it. I have about this much left, and that is currently on page 253 so I'm on chapter 19 and unfortunately I am not enjoying From Twinkle with Love very much for all the reasons that I've discussed earlier on in this video. I think it's going to end up being a two-star read. This week of reading hasn't been super great. Recently I've been reading a lot of two-star, three-star reads. I just need to pick up a book that's like a five-star read or even a four-star read because I'm tired of all these three stars. Hopefully this upcoming week of reading will be much better. Thank you so much for watching this reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye!